in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, God. God, I glorify your name, God. I worship your name, God. Oh, glory to the God of the Most High God. Hallelujah, God. I worship your name, God. God, I praise your God. Hallelujah, God. I give you glory and honor. Oh, God, from the rising of the sun to the going down of the same, I honor you, O King. O King of Israel, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, I ignite your presence, God, today. As I clap my hands, I dispatch the archangel of war. In the name of Jesus, God, I dispatch the Archangel of war, God, huh? with the cling of my hands, God, I dispatch Michael, the Archangel of war, in the name of Jesus, good morning, good morning, good morning to you, God bless you, Lisa Jones, Scheller, just join us, Teresa Johnson, God bless you, Vivaline, God bless you, God bless you, we're all tuning in, the presence of the Lord is here, the presence of the Lord is in this place, that's right, my car, exactly, the presence of the Lord is here, the presence of the Most High God is is here. The presence of the Most High God is here. Y'all don't get it. The presence of the Most High God is here. Hallelujah. The presence of the Most High God is here right now. It is resonating. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The presence of the Lord is here right now. Hallelujah, God. The presence of the Lord is here. Amen. Good morning. God bless you. I am Jamila Young Mitchell. You guys know what I say every time you click my button. I'm going to tell you the truth. That's right. All my new beepies, you're on here. That's for you. I acknowledge you. I give you a curtsy. I am so honored to serve God's children and I am looking at about 2,800 bless, bless people. God bless you all and I am so excited. I'm about to deliver the word of God and I'm going to give it to you just exactly the way he told me. I woke up this morning and an anointing fell on my life as it is but it was a, deep, a, a different level and so this morning I'm breaking the yokes of bondages all over the world. With every click, with every tag and with every share that you do today I promise you, you're going to see God move because God said in this season on my life there was going to be an anointing not that of an eagle eye because that's the mandate on my my life but I'm breaking the yokes of bondage today because I don't like the devil and if you've ever come to any of my conferences that I do you see warfare you don't see many services where they have a deliverance ministry and they are also a non-denominational church and that is me I am a non-denominational speaker in time but I sure believe in the fivefold ministry gifts and I sure know how to cast out the devil. And that's why he don't like me. Because I operate under this power. And I promise you today, yoke shall be broken. I say hello to all of the clergy, all of the five-fold ministry um, people that are on here, all of my believer. I want you to have my intercessors. I need my intercessors, Tamika, Crystal, Calvin, Sidel, uh, uh, Tanivia, Harriet. I need my intercessors on here, Gwendolyn, Bennett. I need y'all praying because I'm about to deliver this word. And I promise you today we gonna shake the enemy's camp i promise you that's gonna happen today we are shaking the devil's camp t t uh, trish god bless you i thank you for tuning in i want you to go with me to luke 13 and whatever's got you unable to move has got to let you go whatever's got you bound today has got to let you go y'all on here 7 30 monday through friday this is your church god bless you all of my seed sowers i'm speaking i am speaking supernatural i'm speaking even those that don't have that you sold on their behalf i'm speaking the supernatural because this is the anointing that fell today i'm on a fast y'all fast on thursdays we fast fast together but i'm on a dry fast dry fast mean i can't eat and I can't even have nothing to drink. And I'm on a dry fast because I got some stuff that I need to go get for CCM. And I'm about to go get it. Amen. Very quickly. Luke 13. If you don't have it, let me read it for you. I'm going to read this and I'm going to get out of here. And I'm waking up this morning on a declaration. I declare and I decree whatever's got you unable to move. God said he is going to release it today. You are not going back to the person that broke your heart. Nope. God said, I'm... 
He said he's already swept the house clean. And so the enemy wants you to go back. You're not going back to that person that broke your heart. You're not going back and staying at a job that got you broken and bowed. God said, I'm sweeping the house clean and no devil in hell is going to let you go back. That's right. That's right. And we're going to have our own personal Lazarus experience, but that ain't the only story. Pastors always preach about Lazarus, but that ain't the only story where folks is brown. I'm going to tell you about a woman that was crippled and God set her free. And so I'm telling you just right. You That person that broke your heart that was abusive to you, you ain't about to go back. Even the very thought of going back. God said, I swept that house clean. There's no need to look here. The house has swept clean. There's no, no need to look here. This house has been swept clean. There is no need for heartbreak to return itself of anything. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. I promise you, you're going to get delivered today. That's right. Luke 13. And for argument's sake, I'm going to read it for you. And this is a story about a woman that was disabled. She had what you call a disabling spirit. Many of you have a disabling spirit. We have people who are suffering from illnesses by birth. I'm not speaking about those individuals specifically, but even though the Bible spoke that that individual, people who have multiple sclerosis and people who have crippling diseases, God healed those peoples. And so we pray to God that God meets them in an unexpected way. But I'm speaking about people who are crippled by their finances because they don't understand how they can't get free. People that are crippled by a heart broke and brokenness and feel like they can't move forward because they ain't nobody else going to love them. Anything that you're crippled by, I want you to get it in your spirit today because that house is going to be swept clean today. That's right. I said it today. Whatever's got you crippled that your mind can't get renewed and you can't get over something. Eh, yeah, shot. You can't get over something. That's a crippling disease. Huh? You can't get your money to line up and you work in two jobs, but yet you still impoverished. Huh? The devil is a liar. That's a crippling disease. Poverty. Huh? That mentality is a crippling disease. That's right. Everything that you're going through that won't allow you to move. That's got a weight around your foot. Oh, your friend that's getting on your nerves and you can't seem to detoxify yourself of hope. That means your mind ain't renewed and God says that house gonna be swept clean today. And this is exactly why I need my intercessors going in because we about to be about it. See, I can't stand the devil and he don't like me. If you've ever been in my presence, you go feel the power of God because I'm his number one enemy and I don't mind. So I'm telling the devil today, you gonna get your hand off God's people. You gonna get your hand off their mind. You gonna get your hands off their money. You gonna get your hands off their happy. God said whom the son set free is free indeed. Depression, you got to leave here. You suicide spirit You gonna lead God's people I bind that demon up today That's a crippling disease That says that you cannot get happy That's a crippling disease That says you can't make no money Than what you're making on a 9 to 5 The devil is a liar Cancer You are a crippling disease There is nothing too big for my God That's a crippling mentality That says nobody's gonna love you That's a crippling mentality That tells you that every demon Ain't gonna leave your life Hush And you suffer with insomnia because now demons are speaking to your spirit. That's a crippling disease. And God said, wake up today and tell them I'm sweeping that house clean. Now go with me if you shall. If not, I got you. Y'all don't understand. I can't stand the devil. And that's why he attacks me. But that's all right. Because I'm anointed and I'm about it. That's right. Here we go. Now he was teaching in on the synagogues on the Sabbath. And behold, there was a woman who had a disabling spirit for eight years. That means she has been crippled for eight years. And some of y'all done been in relationships and y'all been broken up two years and you still running back to the same old joker. The devil is a liar. That's a crippling disease. God can't give you nobody because your mind's still crippled from your past. Might drop early. I'm glad I got my shirt on. Y'all need a post. Boom. There you go. Huh? Most of you can't get forward huh? because you're dealing with that crippling thing from the past. Huh? That there is nothing too big huh, for my God to unravel. Pow, there you go. Huh? And so what happened is he was teaching on the Sabbath and she was bound for eight years. Huh? She was bent over and could not fully straighten up herself. When Jesus saw her, he called her over and said unto her, all 6,000 people, this is what God said. He said, woman. See, that was a sign of, res of respect. He even said that to his mother a time or two. He said, woman, you are free from your disability. And she left. He laid, he laid 
laid his hands on her and immediately she had straightened up and she glorified God. All 6,000 people, I'm here to tell you, huh? immediately you shall straighten up. Huh? What's ever got you bound, God said, huh? touch them now, right now, huh? and they're going to straighten up. You about to straighten up huh? and fly right. You better straighten up huh? and fly right because what God said, huh? if you don't believe me and you need scriptures huh? for all your people that need a scripture for everything, huh? John's 8 and 36 says, huh? it said, whom the sun sets free huh? is free indeed. Huh? And so what's wrong with me, Jamila, huh? that I keep going back and making that phone call, huh? knowing good and well huh? that he comes over after 2 o'clock huh? and he drop a seed, not a financial seed, huh? not a $7 seed, huh? but he drop a fresh seed huh? in my body and then go home huh? and lay down with his wife. No good and well. Huh? I said I wasn't going to do it no more. Huh? No good and well. That woman don't need me, you well, brother. Huh? But yet still, you still dealing with her. Huh? She ain't wife material, huh? but you can't get over your mind huh? that God got greater. God got greater. Huh? Yeah, that's your post today. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Huh? God got greater. God got greater. Huh? You keep running back to the thing that broke your life. Huh? And God said that's a crippling disease. Huh? So whatever crippling disease you're going through, huh? God said today, straighten up. Huh? Straighten up. Straighten up and fly right. Huh? I believe that's a song. Huh? And so here we go. Huh? God said to tell them, huh? Latoya Jackson, huh? whatever's got you crippled, huh? ah, God said he gonna let you free. Huh? And so understand something. Huh? This woman was crippled for eight years. Huh? Most of you crippled for two months. Huh? You done broke up and you done moved forward. Huh? But yet and still that one phone call get your knees buckling. Huh? Ah, the devil is a liar. Huh? God says I've given you power to get well. Huh? But your mind can't obtain it. Huh? Because your mind has been crippled huh? by the pain of your past. Huh? You folks dealing with poverty. Huh? And you're in a poverty mentality. Huh? That don't get a rich buffoonery. Huh? God, huh? that's a spirit in itself. Huh? Loose them and let them go. Huh? That everything you got is on your back. The devil is a liar. Huh? Ah, God said today, huh? tell them they're going to straighten up. Huh? Because it's now going to a new year. Huh? And you can't stay in this this year huh? like it was before. Huh? You've got to be renewed. And God said, huh? I'm going to renew their mind. Huh? Right now, this woman huh, was crippled for eight years. Huh? She was crippled by the pain huh? that would not allow her to move forward. Huh? And so today, I'm going to give you an assignment. Huh? All of you that have your oils or not, huh? I want you to take your hands huh? and lay them on your ankles. Huh? What is wrong with her, Ursula? Huh? This woman always giving us assignments. Huh? That's why the ground is fertile. Because huh? I'm teaching you, huh? all 6,600 people. Huh? I want you to do me a favor today. Huh? I want you to grab your ankles huh? and say, let me go. Huh? And huh? Grab your ankles today huh? and say, let me go. Huh? See, understand what I'm telling you. Huh? That some of you got things huh? wrapped around your ankles huh? and you cannot take flight. Huh? And so after you do that, huh? lay hold on your mind huh? and say, let me go. Huh? Because you got to go somewhere huh? and everybody can't go with you. Huh? You don't believe that? Keep on doing what God say do. Huh? And folks don't fall off. Huh? Dead weight got to go. Huh? I shut not about see. Huh? Dead weight got to go. Huh? You're in a season right now huh? where you got to regulate your mind, your money, your man, your kids. Huh? You're in a season right now. Huh? You got to regulate your mind, your money, your wallet, and your woman. Huh? My job. Huh? And you got to see God for who he is. Huh? He is a deliverer of those that seek him. Huh? He said right now I'm elevating you. Huh? And the reason why you keep doing like this huh? and jumping and come back down huh? is because you ain't free totally yet. Huh? Ah, have you ever surrendered to the most high God? Huh? I did it one day and it changed the very course of my life. Huh? Let me slow down. Huh? Understand something. Huh? Ah, God said to go here today huh? and so I am. Huh? You got folks so demonically oppressed huh? and God said in the word of God, huh? if you don't believe me, let me give you the scripture. Huh? When John 8 and 3 says, huh? when John 8 and 36 says, huh? Whom the sun sets free is free indeed. Huh? You can't go back to your old ways, people. Huh? When God sets you free, huh? you cannot go back to what had you bound, my drop. Huh? When God sets you free, huh? I don't care how good he was. Huh? I don't care how good she was. Huh? When God sets you free, all 7,000 people, huh? you better not go back. Huh? God in heaven, huh? when God sets you free, he said, huh? whom the sun set free is free indeed. Huh? Now, if you don't believe me, I'm not going to stare you. Huh? And all of my trick-or-treaters yesterday, God, ha, 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 ha. this is not a ghost and goblin tale, huh? but I'm getting ready to give you the truth, all 7,000 people. Huh? Go with me when you have time huh? to Luke 11 and 26 huh? and what that scripture says. Because huh? 
nostalgia it says that when a person is demonically oppressed and they go back to the state that God set them free from, there's that powerful number again. I know I'm in the prophetics right now because I'm speaking to you about seven spirits at seven something in the morning and 7,100 people are watching and that's the seed of the seven. Don't tell me that ain't a prophetic number. Test God and do it today. And so the Bible says that seven more spirits go back and come back and that person is worse than before. That's why when God frees you of something that got you bound, baby, you don't go back, stupid. God, I can't stand the devil. And so understand, God done set you free and you went back to the same bed. God set you free from spinning frivolously and you keep running to a victorious secret sale. Ah, God, God set you free and had you in a better place financially and you done fell back. The devil is a liar. If you keep following me, you ain't just going to get free. You're going to stay free. I'm going to give you nine principles of God. It is the fruits of the spirit. And if that person you hang around with does not display that, got to go, got to go. I'm telling y'all, let me slow down all 7,300 people. God said to tell you, he's setting you free from some things that got you bound. And you're going to straighten up after being crippled financially, after being crippled from a divorce, after being triple crippled by foreclosure. Foreclosure is not. Ah, God. There's about 80 of you on here that God just said. Ah, God. Foreclosure won't come to your house. God. I'm a soul seed for a friend myself. Foreclosure will not come thee. Yeah, you ain't gonna even have to file for bankruptcy to stop it. Cause God said He's gonna release it and give you mercy. Understand all 7,400 people. I need you to tag, share, and invite someone. Cause God said, wake up this morning. And I'm gonna give you a new power, woman of God. Cause you gotta reach the nation. And so all 7,500 people, preferably, God said, I'm gonna set you free. And this time when I do it, you will not go back. Understand what the word of the God says. There is only one God. And every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord of Lords. And if you don't believe me, do me a favor today. Try him. Whatever's got you crippled, all 7,500 people, give it to God. But when you give it to him, surrender it to him. There is a big difference of giving somebody something and surrendering. Now, here we go. I just don't talk to you. I'm a teacher, my dropper. And so when you give yourself over to something wholeheartedly, that means there is nothing that will separate me from the love of God. No depth, no height, no angels in heaven, no demons in hell. Family, friends, and loved ones. I don't care how good he is or she is. I shall not back. And so who the sun set free, you are free indeed. Don't you dare lose your faith and go back to it because it's easy. Or to your natural eye, it seems obtainable. Faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. That means the evidence of you seeing it means your faith could pull it to pass. My drop. And so understand all 7,500 people. Right now, prophetically, I'm speaking to your spirit. Financially, God's going to give you a breakthrough. And the poverty disposition is going to leave you. All 7,500 people. You shall not go back to what broke you. Because God said, just like Lazarus, loose them and let them go. Just like the woman that was bent over and crippled. God said, hey, baby, get up from here and straighten up. And everything that ain't right in your life is about to get up and straighten up. I need you to tag this video, share, and invite a believer, my drop. Everything that's got you crippled, you can't even get your mind right. Because the devil got your soul bound. But God said today, loose them and let them go. Ah, there's a power that fell in my car. And I wish you were here. I see your December 4th, God. Understand what I'm saying. Most of you need a financial breakthrough like never before. God said, not me. Flesh and blood had not revealed this to me. He said, if they give me themselves wholeheartedly, I will give them houses that they did not even build. I'll give them land. Four people right now. You've got over three and a half acres that see 
king small that was an inheritance to you huh? and you don't know what to do with it so you're letting it sit huh? God said to tell you huh? somewhere in Nebraska is one huh? somewhere in Chicago there's another huh? God somewhere in Texas there's another huh? okay God for huh? and somewhere in South Carolina huh? there's about four Three acres given to you, huh? and you don't know what to do with it. Huh? God said, trust them with it, huh? and don't accept the contract, huh? because a building developer huh, is going to need that space, huh? and you're going to get a contract huh? that will give you millions. Huh? My drop. Somebody better grab that. Huh? Understand this. Huh? When God speaks, huh, y'all sure better listen. Huh? And I'm speaking right now to 7,800 people. Huh? Prophetic is falling. Huh? Most of you right now, someone huh, is looking at a four-bedroom house, huh? and because of your finances, you decreased it to three, huh? and said, maybe if I knock off huh, a thousand or so that I can afford it, huh? God said, go back, Kasha, huh? and look at the four-bedroom, huh? because God said, I'm giving it to you. Huh? If y'all don't believe me, stay right there. Huh? God said, if you trust me, huh? with the little bit you got, huh? I'll give you everything. Huh? Or 7,900 people, huh? I need you to tag, share, and invite some Somebody, huh? See, you got to be renewed by your mind because huh? the enemy wants your bound. Huh? And if you don't give God everything you got, huh? he'll take everything that you don't have. Huh? And so it ain't about the stuff. Huh? It's about can you trust God with your faith? Huh? And so this woman did. Huh? All 8,000 people. Huh? The reason why she was blessed huh? is because God told her to do something. Huh? He said, come here huh? and see what she did. Huh? She didn't look at her circumstances huh? that I'm all crippled huh? and this man can't help me, huh? because eight years I've been bound, huh? he said do something, huh? and so I say seven dollar seed, and you do it, huh? and you get blessed, but God told her, huh? come here, huh? and what she did is she said, huh? okay God, huh? and so she came here, huh? see sometimes y'all, huh? y'all better get it in your spirit, huh? you gotta do a spiritual thing, huh? to obtain the natural things of God, huh? because he owns a thousand of a thousand hills, huh? and so this is what he said to her, huh? she looked at her body being contorted, huh? and she could have said, I I am not going to be moved huh? because right now my faith says huh? I can't be made well. Huh? I've been crippled for eight years. Huh? I'm in the spirit in the prophetic. If you don't believe me, huh? I'm speaking about the number eight. Why is there 8,100 people on here today? Huh? God told me on the first of November, huh? a fresh anointing was going to fall. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Huh? She could have looked at herself being crippled huh? and bound and saying, this ain't going to work. Huh? And so you looking at your situation crippled and brown huh? and you saying and the devil saying that ain't going to work. Huh? You look at that the money to go into foreclosure, huh? And you says, I ain't got it, but God said, no, baby, that ain't gonna work, huh? You're looking at your husband pack up, huh? And leave you, and now you're saying, can I do it, huh? And you say, well, this ain't gonna work, huh? But God said to the woman, come here, huh? And she came here, huh? And when she did that, huh? She operated her faith, huh? And so please, if you don't hear anything today, huh? God is saying, come here, huh? Give me what you ain't got, huh? And I'll give you everything, huh? All 7,000 people are gone, huh? We're at 8,200 people, huh? And I'm prophetically in a realm, huh? Y'all don't believe me, huh? Jamila.com, huh? Put a seven dollar seed in the ground, huh? And see what happened. God told me, huh? Today he wants me to do a dry flash, huh? No food and no water, huh? For CCM, huh? And anointings gonna hit those people, huh? Like never before, huh? Ah, God, I heard you, huh? Because I'm in the prophetics, huh? Because there's 8,200 people, huh? And I'm speaking about the woman of eight years being in a place of crippledness, huh? And we're getting ready to bark into 2,000. God, huh? Y'all don't think I walk in the prophetics, huh? Keep on praying, keep on praying, huh? 8,300 people, huh? God said to tell you, huh? God said everything that's crippled in your life, huh? He's going to straighten up, huh? I am Jamela Young Mitchell, huh? And every time you click my button, huh? I'm going to tell you the truth, huh? And see what you hear right now, huh? It's a mighty move of God, huh? On CCM, huh? And if you are part of it, huh? You are blessed generation, huh? Young child, that's the buttress, huh? That's talking back, huh? He running away or she running away, huh? And she ain't coming home, huh? God said, tell them, huh? They about to straighten up and fly right, huh? All 8,400 people, huh? God said to tell you, huh? Tell that debaucherous generation, huh? Those children that don't want to listen to their parents, huh? God's about to make them straighten up, huh? And act right, ah, huh, God, huh? Hey, you ain't going back to that man, huh? Ah, God said today, huh? You about to straighten up because the thing that had you crippled, huh? Shall be no more. Yes, God. Huh? He said to speak right now. Huh? Yes, she asaka. 
Rabosa, and the Rabosikia, eight thousand four hundred people. I am telling you, God said to speak over your life right now. Your money's been crippled. God said, Release Asha. Your children been acting strange. God said, Release Asha. You got hurt beyond hurt, and now the process is getting hard. God said, By the end of the week, it's gonna be finished. And the Rabosikia, right now, they don't already told you all eight thousand five hundred people. Your health is fading. God said, Release. You're gonna live beyond the doctor's report. Right now, somebody Asha, has fallopian cancer. And God said, Healing right now. Somebody right now. You've been trying to conceive, but your tubes are blocked. God's showing me right now the fallopian tubes opening up. And yours is about the size of a straw. But God's gonna make it colossal to receive your husband's seed. Release everything that's got you bound. God said, Today, He said, Get up because a fresh anointing is gonna fall. And tell your intercessors to pray. Thank you, guys. Because God's gonna put me in a realm. And today, y'all gonna see God like never before. Ah, God, I've been waiting on this interview. God said, Release, you're gonna start working. I've been taking a bus and it's getting cold. God said, Release, somebody need to go to the lot right now after work and get a car. God said, Right now, 8,500 people. He said, Right now, tell them whatever's got them crippled shall be no more. I can't get to work because I ain't got no means of transportation. Release, yes, you do. And no, 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 I moved in with my family and I'm so sick and tired. And I'm gonna wait for my income tax because I'm going to get me a place. Nope, it's coming before January. Release and no, 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 see all 8,600 people. I'm speaking in a realm right now. And if you are smart, you are quick tag and shit. God said, whatever's got you crippled shall be no more. I speak right now to folks had insomnia huh? and you've been tormented at night huh? because you cannot sleep huh? do yourself a favor huh? and play this video before you go to bed huh? the blood of Jesus huh? I release right now the angels of the living God huh? as I clap my hand I dispatch Michael the archangel of war huh? that encamp around your bed and your mind huh? and you have sweet peace release huh? you right now that are going into court today huh? I speak right now to every chamber where the judge sits huh? I speak to the robe that he wears huh? that God will Entangle himself, huh, and you shall have victory. Huh? I release right now in the name of Jesus. Huh? If you don't believe me, please huh, go watch the seed testimonies. Huh? Everyone that puts a seed in the ground, I'm in the prophetics. Huh? 8,700 people are watching. Huh? Seven dollars, put it in the ground and watch God. Huh? I'm in a realm right now. Huh? Y'all don't believe me? Let me help you. Huh? Right now, I'm watched right now huh? in Cambodia. Huh? And so I've got intercessors huh? over in Africa and Cambodia. Huh? Intercessors seating for CCM huh? because there's an anointing today huh? that is going to fall on my life huh? and guess who now is a part of it huh? CCM you're released huh? tell that demon in your house huh? you are now free to leave huh? release my child in the name of Jesus huh? release my husband right now in the name of Jesus huh? release my money right now in the name of Jesus huh? everything that's got you crippled today huh? God said you shall get a release huh? all 8,800 people huh? I need you to tag share and invite someone Huh? That's been bound demonically huh? And so right now I'm going into the realm huh? And I'm going to speak to every devil in hell huh? I bind every demon today huh? I come against your assignment for God's people huh? I speak life into the bosom huh? Of the person that's suicide and depressed huh? In the name of Jesus huh? I speak right now to the boss huh? That's tormenting the child of God huh? That she will find a heart huh? To say I don't want to work here no more huh? And you replace her huh? In the name of Jesus huh? I pray right now for all the are in huh? and everybody that's going to take a state board exam huh? you shall be released and fear will not cripple you huh? you shall pass the test huh? I come against every assignment huh? that got these folks finances bound huh? you shall release God's people huh? you go release them like Lazarus was bound huh? release them and let them go huh? and just like the woman that was bound up huh? release and let them go huh? in the name of Jesus I speak the cancer huh? and crystal touch and agree with me huh? that every power that devil said that he gonna put in your body huh? shall be no more. Huh? Release them and let them go. Huh? Fear, I speak the fear right now. And huh? huh? In the name of Jesus, huh? everything that's got you bound with fear is concerned. Huh? All 
over 9,000 or 9,000 people. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I speak to your spirit today. Release them and let them go. Even if your husband forsake you, you better tap into God. Release and let them go. You can do it by yourself. I speak to my brothers today that's in the streets running around. There is a woman praying for you. But yet and still, you're trying to find a quick rich scheme. Huh? Release them and let them go. All 9,000 people. Huh? I speak over the lives of 9,000 people. Huh? God said whatever's got you crippled, huh? you shall be released. Huh? And God's going to let him go huh? to put you to a new dimension huh? of holiness, righteousness, huh? and wealth. Thank you.